grade three diastolic dysfunction will show those elevated filling pressures. Mitral valve inflow, the E and A will be in a restrictive pattern. Filling pressures are high and the blood flow into the ventricle will start early and then filling will terminate quickly. Also, you'll have a shortened isovolumic relaxation time and a decreased D-cell time. You'll have an opposite effect from the pseudonormal pattern where the valsalva maneuver would actually reduce the left atrial pressure as it unloads the ventricle. And so patients that have this restrictive filling pattern may actually revert to a pseudonormal pattern because the unloading of that ventricle is able to cause that significant drop in filling pressure. Patients that are in atrial fibrillation often will have a loss of that A wave because of ineffective left atrial contractions. So be careful not to confuse the two. Young patients or patients with athletic hearts may also show similar waveform patterns, evaluate for the patient's EF as well.